I would like you to start in a comfortable seat. You can be crisscross like this. I want your right foot to be in front. Now, if you can, and if it's available to you, your foot doesn't get stuck underneath the other pants leg, you can place that foot into the lap of the other leg. But don't worry if you can't, it's quite all right. We're gonna start here and just close our eyes and we're gonna breathe in and out through our nose. Your breath is gonna be nice and easy. Close your eyes if you like. You can also turn your palms face up. We'll take about two more breaths. From here, you're gonna extend your right hand to the outside of your right hip, and you're gonna take your left arm up to the sky just to start. And you're gonna look up towards that left hand if you can, or in the general direction. If you're not looking right up at the hand, you can be looking up catty corner a little bit, and that's quite all right. But you're definitely turning your body to face towards your left arm extended upward. If you like, you can scoot your right hand out a little bit more away from you and take your left arm a little bit more towards the right. If for whatever reason it starts to cramp up in your neck, you can change and look down towards the hand on the floor or look straight ahead at me. Slowly and gently sit up, taking that left hand, taking it over to your right knee, and gently twist towards the right. And you're going to look back over. Your back shoulder. making this a little bit deeper twist than we normally do. Slowly and gently untwist, coming to the front. And all you're going to do is place your palms onto the ground in front of you. Now, this may already be a stretch for you. You may not need to go any further than what you are. But if you feel that you can go a little further, just take a breath in. Raise up onto your fingertips. 
And on the exhale, walk your hands forward. You can bow your head if you like. Slowly and gently walk yourself back upright, taking your time. And now we're going to switch which foot is in front. So take your right foot and place it behind. And you can sit with either your right foot in front and that foot still staying on the floor. Or again, if it's accessible, place that right foot right into that little shelf that your calf and your thigh make. Again, we're going to sit up nice and tall. We're going to go ahead and take, did I say right foot? That's left foot. And the left hand's going to go out. And your right arm is going to go up to the ceiling. And again, you're twisting your body to go up towards that hand. Again, your gaze can be about this level if you need it to be. Again, if you'd like to creep out a little further over to that side, taking your right arm a little bit more over towards the left, that's fine. You're getting a nice big side stretch on the side of your body. Slowly and gently come back upright, leading with that right hand, place it onto your left knee, and gently twist towards the left. Again, trying to take your gaze towards your back shoulder. And if at any time it's too much of a twist, you can kind of come out of it a little bit. You don't have to take it all the way. Slowly and gently untwist. Take a breath in. And on your exhale, Bring your hands in front of you. Again, if this is enough of a stretch for you and your low back, maybe even into your hips, you don't have to go any further than this. You can just drop your head and bow forward. Now, if you want to go further, inhale on up to your fingertips. And on your exhale, walk your hands further out. Slowly and gently walk your hands back towards your body until you're back upright once again. We're going to go ahead and begin a little bit of breath work. So bring your palms together in front of your heart. We'll sweep them out as we inhale. 
your fingers will touch, and then you exhale all the way down in front of your heart. Again, inhale, sweeping them out and over. Exhale to your heart. A couple of more times. Do this at your own breath's pace. This will be the last one and it'll be a little different. So inhale, the hands go up. Exhale, you're going to interlace your fingers and then push them straight up above your head. Now, what normally happens is you straighten up and your shoulders want to go up to your ears. You want your shoulders to drop back down even though your palms are facing towards the ceiling. And you straighten your arms as much as you can that is comfortable and breathe. Slowly release your hands all the way back down and sweep them back up in front of your heart. From here, we're going to take our legs over to the side and come on to all fours. And I'm going to come at a little bit of an angle, so hopefully you can see me better. But we're going to be on all fours and we're going to do cat-cow. So inhale, drop the belly, look up, maybe just towards the baseboard or the bottom of a chair. And on your exhale, you're going to round like an angry cat, pushing with your palms. Inhale, drop the belly, gaze goes forward. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, look forward, drop the belly. Exhale. Round like a cat. We'll do a few more at your own breath's pace. Come to a neutral back. I'm going to turn to face you once again so you don't move. I'm moving for y'all. You're going to take your left foot out and slowly walk your hands until you are upright. Now I know because of my little bench you can't quite see my foot so I'm going to scoot over a little bit. I have my foot pointing forward right now. On the extended leg. Now if you need to turn it to where your foot points more out, that's quite all right. We're going to inhale up and exhale down. Again and exhale down. One more time. And exhale down. We're going to go up, but we're going to interlace those fingers. Turn them up and out. Again, get that shoulder out of your ears. We're going to take a breath in. And on the exhale, we're going to lean to the left. 
only going as far as is comfortable to you and you can look up towards your right arm if you like or you can keep your gaze forward slowly release the right hand to either go to the right thigh or the right shin gently come back up now this is where it gets tricky and I didn't bring a block and I didn't say to bring a block but you're going to slowly reach your hand towards the floor and you can flex that foot and take the other arm just straight up you can turn the extended legs foot to face towards me if you like and then you're gently just going to push up and go back over. Then you'll just come upright. Inhale the hands to your heart. Exhale, bring them to the floor. Bring your left knee in. And now we're going to get that on the other side. Take your right leg out. Slowly and gently come up onto your knee. Now, if you need a cushion for your knee, I've got two mats here, so I've got plenty, but if you need a blanket for your knee, feel free to use it. We will inhale up and exhale back down, bringing our hands to our heart. Again. again this next time when we go up is when we interlace the fingers interlace and exhale again you don't want your shoulders up here you want them to come down and it's okay if you're not right above your head okay I'm a little bit forward and there's nothing, I mean, you're still getting the same benefit. We're going to take a breath in and exhale, lean over the extended leg. Slowly release your hands and continue to go over that leg. Slowly and gently come back up and we're reaching for the floor. You almost don't want to look for it. You want to just wait till you find it. And you can be on your fingertips or your fist, whatever works. And if you don't have to turn the foot or flex the foot to get here, that's quite all right too. Slowly come up and we're going to go all the way over, getting that side stretch. Slowly and gently swing your arms back to where you can have your palms in front of your heart. Take a breath in. As you exhale, bring your hands to the floor. Bring that leg in. I'm going to turn sideways a little more because we're going to do a little more stretching. We're going to be on all fours. You're going to extend your left leg straight behind you and your right arm is going to be right by your ear. And then you're going to switch. Right leg goes back, left arm goes out. And 
and switch. And once you get this down to where you've got your legs straight and your arms straight and switch, and switch, one more time to switch. All right. From here, we're going to walk our hands back, come back upright onto our knees, and we're going to do a little back bend. So I like to come up onto my toes. So I'm curling my toes as if I'm going to do a downward dog. I inhale both arms up. I'm going to take the left arm back to reach for that heel. And I'm only just barely touching it. And then I'll sweep it back up and switch sides. I'm just touching the back of my heel with my fingertips. And come back out of it. I'm going to turn to face you once again. And I'm just going to sit back onto my heels the best that I can for just a moment. If that's all you can do, that's great. We're going to inhale, come up onto our knees. Exhale, you're going to forward fold. Inhale, come into cow. Exhale, into cat. Push your hips back, walk your hands back. Come back to the seated position. Inhale, come back up onto your knees. Exhale, bow forward and slide your hands forward. You're in child's. Inhale, come to cow. Exhale, round to cat. Push back and walk your hands back towards your body as your hips sink back onto your heels. Come back upright one last time. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat, push back, sink into child, walk your hands back, and come back upright. All right, we are going to come, we're not going to come onto our backs just yet. We're going to come back onto hands and knees. I'm going to turn sideways so that you can better see. We're going to be having our toes curled under, and yes, we're going to do a downward facing dog. Now, if you have difficulty doing this, and you prefer, I'm going to demonstrate with a chair. So cat, neutral back, I'm going to bring my hands up to the chair first, come to standing in the front of the chair, and then walk my feet back. You can have a bend in your knee if you like. And this will be your downward dog. Now for those of you that would like to try it from the floor, we start at the floor, all fours. Curl our toes under, push our hips up and back. You can keep a bend in your knee. As a matter of fact, you can walk your dog, bend one knee, then the other. And whichever downward dog you're in, you're going to walk your feet towards your hands. So if you're up here, you're going to walk towards the chair and have a forward fold here. If you're at the chair or 
here if you're not. Slowly come up. Inhale up. Exhale. Forward fold. Come halfway up. Go all the way back down wherever that's at for you. Slowly come up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, down wherever you are. Inhale, back up. Exhale, your hands to your heart. I'm going to turn and face you now. And I'll have trusty chair just in case. And we are going to do our balance. So the first thing I want you to do, whichever side your chair is on, that's the foot you're going to shift all your weight into. From here, you're going to bring your heel of your opposite leg just to the inside of your calf. This knee is turned all the way out. It's not pointing forward or halfway forward. It's turned out, okay? You can bring your hands to prayer at your heart. And your big toe on the bent leg never has to leave the floor. If you like, you can inhale your arms up and exhale them down. Again, inhale up and exhale them down. Now, if you're not feeling steady and you need your hand on the chair, you can still inhale the other arm up while you hold on to the chair. Inhale up, exhale down. Again, and down. Last one. And down. Hands together at your heart. If you'd like, you can try to creep that foot up off the floor onto your calf all the way, never to the inside of your knee. Again, you can always have a hold of the chair and you can take the opposite arm just in the opposite direction. And if you're feeling brave, you can take both arms out, maybe bring them in towards your body. You can do whatever you like. Ooh, and you can fall out of chair. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and be out of chair and we're going to go to the opposite side. So I'm just going to switch my chair over instead of turning the whole room around. Again, you shift the weight into the foot that's closest to the chair. You turn and get that opposite knee turned out. That heel is to the inside of your standing leg, which does have a tiny bit of a bend. You can start here with your hands in prayer. Inhale up. And exhale down. And every day is different. Inhale up. Exhale down. Again. Do this with your own breath's pace. Two more. Last one. All right. I'd like you to try to bring that foot up to that calf. And again, if you need to hold on to the chair, that's quite all right. You can have your arms going diagonal. 
continue to breathe. And if you keep falling out like your teacher here, just get right back in. It's okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to step out, kick our feet out. I'm going to move the chair once again out of the way. And we are going to come on to the ground. We're going to start with our feet together in front of us and you're going to scooch them as close to your body as you can. Normally don't do this. I usually take the in approach and have them quite a bit of ways. And you may notice that you have a lot of air space between your knees and the floor and that's quite all right. We're going to start here. Our hands are going to be down at our ankles. We'll take a breath in. And on the exhale, you'll bend at the elbows and bring yourself forward. It's not a lot. It's just a little. Try to keep those shoulders away from your ears. They always want to creep up. Slowly and gently come back up. I want you to place your hands underneath your knees. I want you to gently press down with your knees and show resistance with your hands. And then release. Gently press down with your knees. Giving resistance with your hands. And release. One more time. Push your knees towards the floor, even if they don't touch. They're pushing into the palms of your hands. And then release. All right. We're now going to gently push down our knees, and you're going to give resistance with your knees. And then release. Gently push down, giving that resistance and release. One more time. Gently push. Give resistance and release. Okay, we're going to lay on to our backs. I'm going to steal a sip. You might want to too. I'm going to take my blanket with me for a neck pillow. I hope that you can still see me. We're going to first start just by letting ourselves relax here on the floor. Knees are bent, feet are on the, the floor of the mat. We're going to go ahead and bring both knees up. Our shins are parallel with the floor and you can flex your feet if you like. We'll inhale both arms up and we're going to extend our legs and take our arms just up and then bring them back. Exhale, inhale. Two more. Last one. Bring both knees towards your chest. 
Gently rock side to side. Giving yourself that nice low back massage. All right, bring the knees parallel with the floor. This time your arms are out, palms are face down. You're going to exhale as you slowly drop both legs to one side. Inhale as they come back up. Exhale to the opposite side. Inhale to center. Exhale over. Last one going this way. Last one going this way too. Bring your knees to center. Bring them up towards your chest. Let them be wide as you gently rock side to side. That way your legs are not together this time. They're wide. All right. We're going to do a couple of pelvic tilts, and I don't know that you're going to be able to see what's happening. All we're doing, it's as if we're going to go up into bridge, but we're not. So to start, you could have your back arch to where your tailbone is going that way, and you have this little arch at your back, and then you're going to bring it to where your tailbone and your pelvic is going this way and you, you're flattening that low part of your back into the ground. Inhale to create the arch. Exhale to flatten. Do this at your own pace. And don't raise your bum up off the floor when you flatten your back. The next time you flatten your back, just find a neutral back, extend your left leg down, flex your left foot, turn it out towards the left, and gently do little pulses raising up. You're not raising your leg up very high, and that your little pulses are just up, 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 up. Bring that knee back up. We're going to get that on the opposite side. Extend the right leg down. Turn it out towards the right. Flex that foot. Raise it up and do little pulses. knees and walk both feet close to your bum. 
you're going to tilt your pelvis up towards your belly button. You're going to raise your low back up and come into a low bridge. Slowly come down one vertebrae at a time. You're going to bring one leg up followed by the other. You're going to keep them fairly straight. There's a bend in your knee and you're going to let your heels touch. You're going to bend your knees like frog legs and then push up. Down and push up. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Keeping your legs straight. Lower them just a little and repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lower a little bit more. If you need to come down on one foot, that's okay. And we'll do one side at a time at a lower angle. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lower one more time. And we do this eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bend that knee, place that foot on the ground, bring the other one up, it's going to be even parallel with your thigh, and bend and kick out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I did nine, lower, somewhere between the knee and the ankle, here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that knee and that foot to the floor. Take your knees wide or your feet wide and let your knees fall in towards each other. All right, walk your feet back towards one another. Extend your left leg down. Bring it all the way up, take it all the way almost down, and two, down, and three, down, and four, down, and five, down, and six, down, and seven, down, eight, bend it. Do the other side, all the way up, come down, two, and down, three, and down, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. Extend both legs out the length of your mat. Let them fall open. Shake your head side to side. And I want you to just relax here. We're going to have a little bit different Shavasana. Final relaxation. We're going to take a couple of minutes here. 
I want you to just breathe in and out. Let your breath calm you. I'd like you to slowly bend one knee followed by the other. Gently scoot your hips over to one side as you roll over all the way onto the opposite side. Curling up as if you're in bed. Slowly and gently bring yourself up to a seated, comfortable position. And we are going to get a couple of more good stretches in for our body. So I call sitting like this, sitting like a deer. So you have this one foot is Indian style or crisscross applesauce in front of you. And you take the other one just to your side. I'm hoping, I'm gonna turn a little bit, hoping that you can better see me. All right, we're going to work on some more of these nice stretches for our body. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna turn your body towards the knee that's in front. You're gonna use your fingertips. And before we do, I want you to just raise that knee up off the floor and just see how high you get it and then bring it back down. We're gonna do a few of those isometric gentle somatic stretches with our legs again. So I want you to raise that knee up off the floor but use your hand as resistance. And then as you take it down, I want you to give resistance as your hand is gently pushing it back down. Before you get to the floor, release. Do that again, gently bring that knee up giving resistance with that hand, and then slowly taking it down, giving resistance once again, before you go all the way down, release the tension. Last time for this leg, gently giving resistance, both directions. All right. And release. We're now going to get this foot. And, uh, again, I'm going to turn because I just can't see if you can see me. <laughs> You're going to use your peace fingers. It's going to be right on your heel, just below your ankle. Before we go, I want you to just raise that heel up off, keeping the big toe on the ground. See how high you can come up and then bring it down. Okay, we're gonna do the same resistance just like we did on the knee, but right here with this foot. You're resisting as you go up. You're resisting as you go down. That's all you do. All right, before we change sides, go ahead and bring that knee up and see if you don't feel a difference. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But a daily practice of that will definitely help with sciatic and hip pain. All right, again, when you take this position, your feet can be flexed if need be. Again, I want you to start by raising this knee. Now for me in this position, this hip barks. So we turn towards the front knee. 
You slowly raise it up, giving resistance, and then you lower it down, giving resistance. When you get almost all the way down, you release. Again, gently bring it up, giving it resistance and slowly taking it down. One more time. Remember resistance is both ways. And then slowly release. Go ahead and raise that knee, see if you can get it higher or not. Now to do this heel back here, again, it's only your two piece fingers right on the outside of that heel. Again, before you do, go up and see how it feels, where it's feeling spicy at. And we will give resistance as it comes up. And you will notice the more that you do this, the less hip pain you have. And then resistance going down. And you only do the heel one time. All right. We're gonna come and sit comfortably. And you should find yourself sitting comfortably. As a matter of fact, just for the fun of it, come back in to the soles of your feet touching and see how much closer your knees might be to the ground after doing that little bit. It's amazing how much it opens everything up. All right, find your comfortable position. Sit whichever way that you like. We are going to end the class sitting in silence. I want you to find your most comfortable position. And if you prefer to lay down, feel free to lay down. I am going to guide you. Again, feel free to make any adjustments that you might need. you are laying down, I'm going to ask that you take your right hand and your peace fingers and gently tap your breastbone. Feeling the vibration that the tapping creates within your body. sounds like native drums. Just continue to tap as you breathe. Again, you can do this laying down or sitting up. Eyes closed. Continue tapping. If you're laying down, you can let your other arm fall away from your body. We'll tap five, four, Three, two, one. Let your arms rest either out away from your body or into your lap.
gently, without opening your eyes if you're sitting up, you can turn your palms face down. For those of you that may be lying on the floor, I'm going to give you a moment to scoot your hips to one side and gently roll over onto the opposite side. moment and roll all the way over to one side, curling up. Take a big sign breath. And then on your next natural inhale, push yourself up to a seated comfortable position, letting your head and neck be last. You're also going to find yourself sitting crisscross with your hands resting on your knees. Doesn't matter which foot is in front, you're going to gently begin to do upper body circles, nice and slow. You do five in one direction and five in the opposite. Taking your time. After your fifth one and you come up to center, gently switch, going reverse. After your fifth and final rotation, bring your hands to your heart. Let your fingertips touch, but not your palms, and gently press into your fingertips. We'll do this for three full breaths. After your third and final breath, bring your palms to be the edges of your hands to touch, only leaving your thumb and your pinky connected, spreading your fingers wide. If you can, bring your forearms together in front. This creates a chalice or a lotus with your hands. A good stretch and then bring your hands down together in front of your heart. You will inhale up. Exhale to the heart. Turn your head to the right. Bring it back to center. Inhale up. Exhale down to the heart. Turn your head to the left. Bring it back to center. Inhale up. Exhale down to your heart. Bow your head. The light in me honors the light in each of you. I hope that you enjoyed today's class and that you have a wonderfully blessed day. Until next time, peace out.